This week, I am on vacation with my family. Uh, we've been looking forward to this for a long time. We're used to going, or were used to going every year. We, we always come to the beach, but uh, we missed two years. We weren't able to go. So we've all been really looking forward to this, and we're having a lot of fun. We left yesterday, had a really nice trip up here. There was a car in front of us at one point that just, it just swerved. It, uh, his left rear tire went into the dirt and we were very close behind it in one lane to the right and we were afraid it was gonna overcorrect and go in front of us, but it did not. So praise God for that. We all got here safely. I just realized I started talking very quietly. I'm trying to make this engaging, but also there are people sleeping. So it's nighttime again. I'm vlogging at night. You can't see through the blinds, but if it were not night, then there would be light coming through the blinds. It's nighttime, believe me. Lush grass. Lush grass, lush grass, wasteland. We made one stop along the way. Some people went to the bathroom. Uh, my older sister is coming with us this time and uh, she had a baby she had to stop and take care of. But he slept most of the way, so that was awesome. He's a very content baby. We went out in the waves for a while and hung out on the beach after we brought our bags up, to, up into the house. And uh, then we hung around the house for a while and went to bed. Today, we went back out and we did some of the traditional activities. My, my brothers and I always, every year, we, we dig these holes in the sand and uh, we take the dirt, the, the sand, and we use it to build a wall in front of the hole. We do this as we do this during low tide so that the tide's gonna come up. We build a wall in order to protect the hole that we dug and then we dig uh, like ditches, drainage ditches, and we get rocks. There are these big rocks uh, a little bit higher up on the beach. We take those down and we build walls to break the force of the water and slow it down and basically try to keep the water from flooding our hole and whoever's hole fills with sand last is the winner so that was a lot of fun we also have these lightsabers we made with um we took some pvc pipe and then we put pool noodles on the pvc pipe and then wrapped it all in duct tape that's really fun i highly recommend it i really kind of want to take the camera out on the beach at some point i paid a lot of money for this camera and i'm kind of worried about sand blowing around and water splashing and and stuff uh, i'm just worried something's gonna happen to this camera it's gonna get damaged it's gonna get dirty unlike some of the big vloggers out there i cannot afford to destroy a camera and just go buy another one this is the only camera i have maybe later this week i'll go out and not do anything else I'll just take the camera with the tripod and get some shots of the ocean and stuff i don't know after we were out on the beach for a while it started to thunder there was a, there was a storm i think it was kind of passing by us it wasn't quite overhead but there was a lot of lightning and we were all getting kind of bored so we came into the house and then we went shopping my brothers and i went to the movie theater my mom and my sisters went and uh, browsed around some of the local shops. When I came back, uh, I saw on my phone designer slash gamer had left a really encouraging comment on my last vlog. I don't wanna make things awkward by calling you out, but thank you so much because that really encouraged me. And I'm starting to get some more ideas and really feel inspired to make more videos when I get back. I have a lot of ideas for just random videos that wouldn't be a part of a series or maybe could be a part of a series but don't have to be and i'd really like to bring those to fruition i'm thinking it would be a cool idea to make a lot of videos some you know regularly scheduled episodic videos and some just random different videos that don't match anything i've made before and then publish them all in one month so that i have a video every day for a month it might be good for the channel's traffic because i know youtube the youtube algorithm really likes channels that upload a lot of videos and to upload on a regular schedule or or like upload every day. So I'm intrigued by this idea, but I'm also curious as to how long it would take me to make a month's worth of videos. Of course, a few of them would be already taken care of because I could count live streams, which there are two a week. And then I'm also, again, hoping to bring the LEGO World Series back on a weekly basis. And then if vlogs are on a weekly basis too, which they hopefully will be because I'm trying to spend no more than one hour editing, that's four videos a week right there. So I've had a few more ideas and I'm, gonna, I'm about to write those down now. Uh, that reminds me of the other thing I wanted to talk about in the past couple of days. Well, every time we go on vacation, I always bring my notebooks. Uh, as you know, my hobby, my big main number one hobby before I started this YouTube channel was stop motion. And toward the end of my stop motion career, I made a video called Neighborly. It was part one 
of a six part series, or it was supposed to be a six part series, but I didn't get to finish it. But after I made part one, I started rewriting it and I rewrote it and rewrote it and I made, I basically have an idea for like two, at least two movies for this whole big story arc. And I'm not saying I'm gonna try to make a movie out of it, but I wanna do something with the story or at least finish it, if only in like a, a web story format. Point is, uh, this year I don't even have a laptop. My laptop died right before I started this YouTube channel, so I, all I have is a desktop computer. So without any other form of uh, creative outlet, I brought my notebooks and I decided to take another crack at writing neighborly. There have been a lot of places where I kind of had writer, writer's block, there's some issues with it, and I couldn't figure out how to get through. And finally, I figured it out. I figured out how to make things make sense. So I'm really excited to be working on that again. That's that's awesome. But now I have to figure out, well, not now, but if I finish the story, I have to figure out what am I going to do with it? In what form am I going to publish it? Am I just going to write it like a book and post it on the internet somewhere? Maybe I could write it like a book and then read it, like a read aloud on the channel. Am I going to try to do it in sort of a comic book format with photos instead of animated stop motion clips? I don't know. All I know is I'd really like to finish the story at some point because it's something I've been working on over years, just once in a while, and it's something I've always, it's sort of a life goal in my mind. I want to finish that story. Anyway, that was, a, that was a bit of a tangent. I should be going to bed. I'll touch base with you again soon. This camera makes me look really red, except maybe I am really red. Let me see, am I really red? A little bit red, not quite that red. Uh, today is, I don't even know what today is. What is today? Today is Monday. That's day three. So today we went out on the beach again, and uh, this morning we kind of lounged around the house, didn't do a lot, and then this afternoon, well I guess late morning, we went out on the beach and had some fun. The waves got really choppy, and uh, they would come and basically form a wall of water and then slap your entire body and it hurt. It was like a sideways belly flop, basically. Still trying to figure out this vlog thing. One thing I realized is I forgot, I, I need to pick out the interesting moments of the day, note them, and then talk about them. One of those from yesterday or maybe the day before, I don't even remember now. No, it would have to be yesterday. There was this evil dog. I was walking back to the beach house from the beach and this evil little dog, it was a little tiny, Little, it was a little brown dog and it just came barking at me like it wanted to rip my head off and spit it across the road and it just ran in circles around my legs and the owner came and grabbed him but she didn't say anything to me. I would think she would have apologized. So that was interesting. The other thing I wanted to do is go over the comments and suggestions that I received on camera. So let me pull these up here. I read them when I got them but I've pretty much forgotten now so I want to read over those and review so that I can continue to improve my vlogging skills. Here we go, Philip says it would be neat to see you do something while you talk or something. For example, it might have been nice to see the pets you're taking care of, other than that just need to relax and talk. So I'm on the right track with the talking, I'm, I need to do a little bit better about getting clips of what's going on instead of just talking about them after the fact. I'm doing my best to gather some footage to insert into the vlog to make it a little more visually interesting. But as I mentioned before, there's some people I don't want to put in the vlog because they're they're minors, and then there are other people who just don't want to be in the vlog themselves. The other tip I got was not uh, posted in the comment section. It was actually a text from my sister. It says, talk about the work you are doing on the house. Talk about Gabriel. That's my nephew. She just says, talk about what's going on uh, in my life, what we're doing that's fun or interesting, and stories from, uh, you know, past years. So that's good stuff to keep in mind. Right now, I am about to just lay down and have some chill time before bed. I have my notebooks here. I am going to do a little bit of writing, maybe play some video games. I found this neat little app. I don't normally like most uh, mobile games, but I found this one. It's called Alto's Adventure. Check this out. Basically, you're this little uh, snowboarding dude or skiing dude, and you have to catch llamas and collect coins. And then there are these dudes called elders who ride llamas and try to chase you and then hit you with a stick. And you have to outrun them by picking up speed. You pick up speed right, by doing tricks like backflips and stuff. It's a really fun game. Before. After. Before. After. Before. After. Today we are going to go to an aquarium. We're gonna go and uh, take a short butt. What? 
We're gonna take a shortcut by riding the ferries, and then we're going to go to an aquarium and have some fun. We are also, oh, a police car just went by, and like behind the word police, it had uh, like water splashy graphics like you might see on a box for a squirt gun. That's kind of funny. I'm gonna go to an aquarium, see some fish in tanks. We're also gonna try and find a Chinese restaurant. Chinese food is the best food ever in the world, anywhere. It is my favorite and we're gonna try to find some. So far we've called around and tried to get some information from information people and we found uh, two takeout restaurants, which is not what we're looking for. We prefer buffets, but we'll, we'll look around and see what we can see. I got sunburned on my arms yesterday. It's red. I don't know if it'll show up on camera. Ooh, that shows up very nicely on camera. It's red. It hurts. It's not as bad as it was yesterday. got back to the aquarium. That was fun. The aquarium shrunk, I think, since the last time we were there. It seemed a lot smaller. We didn't find a Chinese restaurant, unfortunately. All they have is like little takeout places we really like at buffets. But we did go to Dairy Queen, which was awesome. I got a Chocolate Extreme, as I always do. Weird thing about the Chocolate Extreme, you have to tell them if you want it made with chocolate ice cream, because otherwise they use vanilla. How much sense does that make? Uh, I forgot to mention yesterday when we were on our way out of the aquarium it started raining and it started just pouring rain really hard and we had a pretty good walk back to the car so we waited for a few minutes and we looked out to our right and there was like a little playground area out there in the rain and there's this kid this kid maybe eight years old out there in the rain break dancing he's like down on the ground doing the work it was hilarious I was out there, and I was in the water, and my sister said something like, Oh, I see, and as, I was, as she was finishing the sentence, this thing grabbed my foot. It felt like a giant crab claw, like the size of my hand, or maybe a, the, 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 the mouth of a small shark. And she finished the sentence, and she said, I see something swimming in the water. So that was terrifying. We took a little break from the water after that. But other than that, we had fun. I've kind of reached that inevitable point that I reach every vacation where I've had my fun and I'm still having fun, but I kind of really like to go home and work on my projects. About halfway through the week, I always start feeling really inspired and I'm having all these ideas of things I want to do and how exciting it's going to be. And if there's anything that I have writer's block on, it's usually cleared away after about half of a week at the beach, but we still have half a week to go. So I have my notebooks, I'm just gonna write a bunch of notes and keep myself occupied. I've uh, mostly finished the outline for the entire story of Neighborly, which is awesome. 
I'm going through and rewriting it now with more detail and so just longer paragraphs and also getting rid of all the the marked out paragraphs where I wrote things and then rewrote them. I don't know if this is ever going to be published or not, but uh, it's really satisfying to be making real progress on it. Today's Thursday. I have some really uh, exciting and cool ideas for the next few LEGO Worlds episodes. And I, I'm just, ooh, I found a dime. I also found a quarter out here. I must be rich now. So I can't wait to get home and work on all of that. I talked to my mom about this and she just reminded me that being here is a process and I just need to finish out the week and get my full dose of inspiration. I have my notebooks, I'm writing down all my ideas, but I cannot wait to get back and work on all of this. In between some tips that I got from designer slash gamer and some ideas that I've come up with myself, I think I have a pretty good shot of maybe just one, one last fighting chance of making YouTube work while at the same time I'm applying to some kind of college. I'm, I'm gonna research all that as soon as I get back. Ah, we just enjoyed another few hours on the beach. We had to come in because it is starting to get stormy out there. Let's see how well you can see through this grimy window. I'm waiting for my shower now and we are going to go to this restaurant, a seafood restaurant. They have these hush puppies and they have cinnamon butter. And you dip these hush puppies in the cinnamon butter and it's awesome. Oh, it just started pouring the rain. Is it coming down out there? There were these kids out there on the beach. They had kites, and the kites had printed pictures of pineapples on them, and my sister offered to pay me 20 bucks to go and take one of the kites and stare at it and say, I have a pineapple! I didn't do it. But I wanted to. Today is Friday. This is the day that we pack to go home tomorrow morning. We're gonna leave. We have to be out of the house and have all of our stuff out by 10 a.m. So we're gonna get a lot of the packing done this morning and we're gonna go out on the beach for a little while and then we'll come back and do the rest of our packing this evening. It's been a good week. Been a very good week, but I am happy to get back to work on videos at home. I'm really excited. I've decided to try to bring back the LEGO World Series uh, as a weekly series so that's going to be really cool. It's going to be difficult, going to be difficult to do that and all the other things that I have to do uh, every day and every week but I think it'll be worth it. I might make some changes, adjust the length of the thing, adjust the style again, I don't know. All I know is making that series makes me really happy and other people seem to enjoy the series and when I'm not making it I always wish I were. Just got back from what was probably our last time on the beach for this week. And just for fun, I wrote my YouTube URL in giant letters in the sand twice. And also my logo once. If I get a comment saying someone saw my uh, URL on the beach and decided to look it up, that would be pretty cool. But what are the odds of that? We're all packed up. Most people would probably record themselves packing and make that part of the vlog. But I don't like to do that because recording makes work takes so much longer, but I will find a style that works. I did most of the things that I like to do every time we come to the beach. A few things that we didn't get to do is eat at a Chinese restaurant because we couldn't find one. I usually like to ride on one of those long bed floats on the waves and try my best to stay on, but the waves did not really get rough this week, so it was not a challenge. And I was also kind of hoping to get a recording of either the sunrise or the sunset uh, over the ocean before we went, but uh, I looked it up on the map and this whole place, the whole beach faces south, so. But other than that, it's been a great week. I enjoyed vlogging it and I wonder how long this will take me to edit. If you're wondering how on earth I edited this entire thing in one hour, I probably did not. It's a vacation vlog, it'll have to be an exception. I have lots of footage to go through. 